Now, uh, we've all started a diet at one time or two, right? And when you do, one of the first things you think of to, you know, want to cut out is sugar oh, or yeah. at least limit it. Absolutely. Um, that is one of the first to go. And of course, then you start reaching for artificial sweeteners. And there's new research now that's casting some serious questions over one particular sugar substitute. And it's called ethrotrol. And I may not be pronouncing that right, but we have a doctor here to help us <laughs> yeah. joining us this morning for more on why this research forced him to make a personal change in his daily routine is Dr. Herb Air now and we thank you so much for joining us. Good yeah. morning. And thank Dr. you for having me. Medical Director of Heart and Vascular Service at Henry Ford, we should point out. Erythritol, is that what we're talking Erythritol, about? Erythritol, yeah. Yeah, yeah. After I our, didn't know how to pronounce it either. If it makes you <laughs> feel not better a... before, before I read the study. It does make us yeah. feel yeah. better. Try, seriously. Not a household name, yeah. but many of us use sweeteners. Yeah. It, the first thing after I saw this, the first thing I did was check my coffee creamer. For this ingredient yeah you know it's interesting and and i mentioned i didn't know how to pronounce it i think probably most of your viewers and i'll admit i didn't know what erythritol was until i read this study and it actually it's something we produce in our own bodies at very low levels and it's something that we find in a lot of foods uh, fruits like grapes and watermelon peaches and pears uh, beer wine even cheese but at much lower levels uh, when it's used as a sweetener it's about a thousand times uh, higher of a dose if you will that uh, or a, an amount that's added and uh, unfortunately I think because we're all looking for substitutes for sugar a recent study found a very concerning association between intake of this at usual levels and heart attack and stroke mm. oh wow so, so you're you oh I'm sorry no oh. I was just gonna say is this common in all sweeteners or is it just certain brands? Well, it's a really interesting question. A group of investigators out of the Cleveland Clinic looked at a number of sweeteners and sugars uh, and found there were associations with more than just one, but erythritol was the one that had the strongest association. And over three years of follow-up, the risk of a heart attack or stroke was about three times higher in those who had higher levels of erythritol in their bloodstream than those that didn't. Wow. And You've been using it in a sweetener for about 10 years? I think a lot of us have, yeah. right? I mean, we look for sugar substitutes, ways to reduce our caloric intake. We're all trying to stay as fit and healthy as we can. Right. And so when we can, we substitute sugar. So yeah, in the evening, maybe I'll have a cup of tea or something and I'll put in my uh, my sweetener and often it has erythritol or at least had erythritol. It, right. Okay, well, so what say, are you recommending to, to patients and to other doctors in the Henry Ford Health System? I, I'll say this, there are studies every day that suggest there's some association between maybe something we eat or do and some bad outcome. Mm -hmm. uh, what was really concerning about this study was the level to which they took it. They really did a series, these investigators, of about five studies. And, and, and to me at least, and I'm pretty skeptical when it comes to reading the medical literature, uh, found fairly convincing data that there was a potential harm there. So I think if there's an alternative, if uh, we can either ingest sugar in moderation or if uh, we read the package uh, labels and we see that there isn't erythritol in there, then we should opt uh, to do that instead. I think some of the keys, at least in my, my case, I looked at it and it said it's real sugar and we forget sometimes real sugar in moderation is actually okay. Yeah, it's okay. I, I think we have to remember uh, sort of uh, calories in, calories out, right? right? If we're not sitting around all the time, we're up, we're exercising, we're burning calories, that's good. And that balances the sugar intake mm -hmm. as long as it's in moderation. Yeah. Or yeah. maybe just trying to wean yourself off of sugar and sweeteners. <laughs> if you can together. do it, if you can do it, it's, it's hard. I that years yeah, ago, yeah. but first it started out with just trying to stop with mm -hmm. regular sugar than the artificial. But honestly, the artificial, I didn't like the taste very much and that kind of changed it yeah. for me. And there are other healthy sugars too, honey as an example, yeah. right? Yeah. I mean, we need to look to uh, substitutes like mm -hmm. that as well. Well, and good luck with the black coffee. <laughs> Thank you. I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to do it. <laughs> but it tastes yeah. good yeah. in your tea, that's for sure. It sure yeah. does. Now, we appreciate you being here. Thank, Thank you. So I appreciate you having me. Appreciate yeah. you Thanks. sharing this publicly. It's yeah. so important. Yeah.